President Castro, I said, I said, I would like to ask you what your opinion is of the murder of John F. Kennedy in 1963. Wow. Cuban Missile Crisis, right? We know that Fidel Castro, of course, you know, if there wasn't for the soccer fields, we wouldn't have known anything going on at all. I view Fidel today, the late Fidel, he was my friend. I met him. I Fidel flew Castro. to Cuba when I was governor. And I Not many one, people could say that, that they actually yeah, went to I, Cuba. I had, I had one hour with him. That's incredible. And guess what? He kept, We kept corresponding afterwards and nobody knew it. That's incredible. And you know what I got to ask Fidel? But what did you uh, ask? no, when I was sitting with him, yeah, I wore I wore a watch then. I used to wear my old SEAL team Rolex, right? Sure. And I was sitting with him and he caught me. I looked at my watch and he looked at me and he said, I'm sorry, am I keeping you from something? And I had to think quick. Wow. So I thought, well, tell the truth. So I looked at him and said, no, sir, you're not keeping me from anything. But I said, you've only given me one hour. I said, I was checking my watch and I see that I have only 20 minutes left. Wow. And wow. I said, I, I checked my watch because I have only 20 minutes left and I would wow. like to spend, I would like the last 20 minutes. I'd like to know if I could ask you personal questions. How do you respond to that? He looked right me right in the eye and said, ask me anything you want. That's incredible. And I looked at him, you know what I asked him? Here we go. I said, in 1963, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated in America. Oh. I said, I was 13 years old. And I was in junior high when that happened. I said, in my entire adult life now, I've been studying that murder. And I said, in many scenarios, you figure very pro prominently. This is my opinion. And my impression is that the man who carried it out was a provocateur. I said, I would like to ask you what your opinion is of the murder of John F. Kennedy in 1963. Wow. I couldn't shut him up for 20 minutes. Wow. Wow. The first thing, you know, the first thing he said to me was, it was an inside job. The first thing Castro said to me, it was, an, and then you know what he said to me? Oswald couldn't make the shots. You know that as well as I do. He said, because I worked with the snipers in the revolution and there is no way Oswald could have made those shots to begin with. It doesn't end there, you know, and, Ca and Castro said it was an inside That's job. Jesse. And, yeah. and here's what he said to me. Yeah. He said, here, here, he said, at, and everything he told me was the truth because I found out later. Sure. He said at the time, he said, Kennedy had sent a reporter named Gene Daniel to me. Gene Daniel and I were meeting at the time word came Kennedy had been killed. At that time that happened, and Gene Daniel said this, Castro looked to the floor, didn't say anything for like two minutes. When he looked up, he said, this is bad. This is very bad. Everything is going to change now. Wow. And Castro told wow. me, wow. he said, I believe Kennedy was on the verge of changing the policy of the U.S. towards Cuba. That's incredible. And, and you know what, Jesse, that is the dividing line. When people ask, when did things change for us? November of 63, things really did change. And we start, we stopped trusting our government right around that time because yeah, everything well, they tried to sell us up until then, we bought hook, no, line, and sinker. There would have been no Vietnam had Jack no. Kennedy lived. From what I hear, John was waiting till 64 to make sure, because we already had some troops, yeah. of course.